My name is Reagan Curry, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I was born and raised here. I got married and started a family here. And I also had a life-saving lung transplant here. In early 2002, I developed a cough that would not go away. And I didn't really think that it was gonna be bronchoalveolar lung cancer at the time. The surgeon, when he got in there, the further up the lung he went, the more cancer he found. And when I woke up from that procedure, I had no right lung at all. It had to come out. And we had hoped that that meant that her left lung would be okay. Memorial Day, Friday, 2003. She had a thousand nodules in her only remaining lung. That was the darkest period for sure. We went straight to Mayo. Mayo Clinic transplants more organs than any other center in the United States. And our Florida campus is one of the nation's leading lung transplant centers. We integrate clinical care, medical education, and research to move transplant medicine forward. Reagan and her husband were seeking the opportunity to be considered for transplant, even though her indication was quite outside the box. He proposed that they try something new, and that was during my surgery to wash or rinse out my remaining native airways with a chemotherapy solution. That could conceivably give the possibility that the tumor will not return. It had never been done before, not with chemo, but there wasn't a plan B. Mayo was our only hope. Fortunately for us and for her and for her family and for everybody that knows her, she had an extremely good outcome. We spent six nights in the hospital. We were home in a week and we've never spent another night in the hospital. Cancer never came back. She's never had a complication. And then next thing you know, 10 years goes by. And that was the first and last transplant that we did for that indication. And the reason is because the year after her transplant, the lung allocation system changed. So patients with similar conditions like her will no longer qualify to be listed. A new building is being constructed on Mayo Clinic's Florida campus to apply new technology so previously unusable donor lungs can be transplanted. Our goal is help people who are desperately awaiting a lung transplant. If that technology fulfills the promise of bringing more lungs available for everybody, we'll once again make cases like Reagan's a consideration for transplant. I mean, it'll save thousands of lives. I have had 11 and a half years of birthdays, anniversaries, celebrations that I would not have had. I've been able to be a daughter to my parents and a wife to my husband and a mother to my children. It's an amazing gift that I'll never be able to repay.